617-606-4122. If you have a question for Governor Gary Johnson, definitely give us a call right now. Do we have someone on the line? We have line? a phone call. Yeah. Hello, who's on the line? Hey, this is Julia from Peter's Pete. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hey, let me introduce this. This is uh, Governor Johnson. This is Julia. Julia works, oh works with uh, Peter McWilliams.org. Uh, Peter McWilliams was a famous writer. Uh, he was a libertarian. He really supported our cause, medical marijuana. He died for this cause. He was a best-selling author. Do you know about Peter McWilliams, Governor Johnson? I do not. I do not. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> so, uh, Jul- Julia, do you have? A, do you want to say hello first of all to Governor Johnson? <laughs> yes, Governor Johnson. Hello. <laughs> um, well, I Julia, so thank you for your I, activism. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would be so honored to link you to PeterMcWilliams.org um, if you would like. And I wanted to give you a quote from Peter, if that's okay. Yes. He once, yes. He once said, <laughs> he once said, I'm tired of people thinking that libertarians don't have morality, that they don't have values. That's a lot of hogwash. Libertarians are the only politicians with values. <laughs> yeah. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Peter McWilliams fan. Already. No, he's already. That's great. <laughs> well, thank you, Julia. You're listening to the show right now? Yes, definitely. I've, I've, I love his ideas and everything. I, I think he would make a great president. So, <laughs> Is that an endorsement from you? <laughs> well, everyone's telling me I'm supposed to support Ron Paul, but <laughs> I kind of like Governor Johnson. <laughs> hey, that, that, that's going to get you a lot of votes, Governor Johnson. She's very popular. <laughs> and, and, and talking about Ron Paul for a second, you know, um, Ron Paul and I are, for the most part, talking about the same uh, message. For the most part, we have some disagreements, but for the most part, we're talking about the same message. And let me just say, Communications 101. When you hear the same message from two different sources, or from ten different sources, the more sources you hear the same message from, the better you understand it. Yes. The the, the more clarity there is to it. So I'm trying to... uh, I don't think Ron Paul is going to win the Republican nomination, and so that's the end to that... uh, to that torchbearer when it comes to uh, we, we, freedom and liberty. Speak and, it, will uh, you ask him you know to... What? Um, will I, you? I have the opportunity to continue to carry that and uh, perhaps uh, have it resonate with a lot more people. Will you, will you ask him marijuana. to endorse you? Look, the more people talk about marijuana legalization, the better the issue does. The more people talk about classical liberalism, the more people talk about libertarianism, you know, the, the more support it garners. Yeah, definitely. I, lo- I I support you all. I support you both. I support other candidates too. I mean, anyone that's speaking the yeah. right issues, that's the key to me, and I agree. Um, you, do, will you, you will you, you look for it. him? Will you, you got it. Will you ask him to endorse you if he doesn't win that G- GOP nomination? No, I think you know that that has never been my tact to ask sure. for endorsements. Uh, he asked for mine in 2008, which I readily gave, and then when I dropped out of the Republican primary. I asked uh, everyone that supported me if they would support Ron Paul. I hope that happens, but uh, for me to go out and seek that from somebody else, I, maybe that's the libertarian in me. Sure. Um, I, I, I can, don't know if yeah. I should have to ask that that's a, a decision that individual involved should be making. I like that. We, got a few more like that. we, we got have more calls, too. Callers, uh, can we, yeah, let's take another call, Mike Newman. Thank you, Julia, for calling. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Julia.